A child's bones in the beginning of life are completely made of hyaline cartilage. As they grow, bone slowly replaces the cartilage. This process is called endochondral ossification. In this video, we will be looking at a femur, femur of a baby as it grows into puberty. This process is divided up into seven steps. Step one. In the beginning, chondrocytes, that is cartilage cells, enlarge. They act as a mold for struts that begin to calcify. The enlarged chondrocytes, crushed by their own weight and size, then die, leaving the calcified struts behind. In step two, blood vessels grow around the hyaline cartilage. The perichondrium, that is the layer around cartilage that provides a diffusion layer, converts to osteoblasts. Osteoblasts are bone builders. They create a superficial layer of bone around the shaft of the diaphysis. In step three, blood vessels work themselves into the central cavern of the forming bone. This cavity is called the medullary cavity and will eventually contain red and yellow marrow. The blood will bring fibroblasts into the cavity that will differentiate into osteoblasts. The osteoblasts will start at the primary ossification center located in the center of the diaphysis. From there, the osteoblasts will work towards the epiphyses, converting cartilage to bone. Step four, as a child gets older, remodeling of the bone takes place and creates a true medullary cavity inside the diaphysis. Bone works its way to the epiphyseal plate and begins engaging and converting that cartilage. It's also important to notice the metaphysis. It is where the diaphysis and the epiphyses connect. Step five, capillaries extend into the epiphyses the blood brings fibroblasts, which differentiate into osteoblasts. They get busy and start converting cartilage to bone from the two secondary ossification centers located in the middle of each epiphysis. Step six, the epiphyseal fill with spongy bone. This creates an epiphyseal cartilage plate. At this point, the bone needs to do some lengthening. So as the osteoblasts convert cartilage to bone on the, on the shaft side, of the metaphysis. On the other side, near the ends, the epiphyseal cartilage is replacing itself so it doesn't completely ossify. This lengthens the bone over time. Step number seven. At puberty, the epiphyseal cartilage slows down production of its cells. This allows the osteoblast to begin gaining ground. When osteoblasts convert all of the cells of the cartilage to bone, the bone is done growing. Where the last bit of cartilage was converted and where the bone eventually became one solid mass is called the epiphyseal line. It is visible on adult x-rays. A thin layer of cartilage, called articular cartilage, hangs out on the top of the femur to prevent bone-to-bone -bone rubbing. Endochondrial ossification is a process completed over a child's development. It is both an interesting and necessary process of life.